Hello. Yes, it's me. I'm artist Astra. Astra here from Vico. Uh, after school with Vico. There, we have a whole big team here of teachers uh, imparting our knowledge to you. So, so welcome. If if this is your first time uh, stumbling upon a Vico a uh, Vico live stream, yeah, please subscribe. That way you'll know when, uh, when more things are happening. You can hit the notifications when you subscribe and yeah, you'll get the alerts. I'm going to uh, uh, show you how to draw something. Now you can see uh, in our uh, topic below, bison, the American bison. Well, hey, we have uh, on the top there, right? Where is here? Okay, so we've got an artist interpretation right there, and that's a very ancient uh, painting. So that that's in Europe. Now, bison also, there's a European bison. I think it's called the Weissent. It sounds like bison, right? Weissent? Right, kind of, yeah, right? Weissent, Weissent. But um, yeah, we're below would be the American, the North American bison. So uh, ancient species, it's been around, been around for, for a very long time. And like I said, luckily we still have them today. Um, now let's get into an artist who focused on these a little bit in his art. Um, yeah, this, let's, let's go over to, yeah, let's jump now. Here we go. Yay. All right. So uh, who do we have here? This is Albert Bierstadt. Albert Bierstadt. Now, uh, he was born, yeah, you can see 1830. So January 7th, 1830, passed away in 1902. So and, uh, he was American. He was born in Europe, but uh, yeah, he came here when he was young. And yeah, he became American. So he's a Ger German-American painter, and he's known for these, these uh, yeah, like sweeping landscapes, these uh, expansive pictures of the American West. He went out there, he studied, he, yeah, he, he looked around, he drew and he painted from observation and he came up with these, these epic, epic paintings. Okay, so uh, earlier, I did have a live stream earlier and I had some practice. So let's, let's see how I did. Wah! I gotta say, I'm pretty thrilled with this. And this is crayon and marker, maybe a, a pencil uh, sketch underneath. Okay, so I've got a source picture next to me, and yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's I don't know, yeah, <laughs> it's not, I'm right behind it. But I figured, how about this? Let's do for tonight, right now. Let's do the bison facing the other way. Okay, so let's uh, we'll do something a little different from what I did earlier. But that way you're going to still get to draw the bison. And if anybody is joining me from earlier, you're, you get to draw something a little different in your study. Okay, so I'll put this aside. And let's, uh, let's do this. I am so excited. Okay, and you've got something to draw with, I hope. All set. All right, I'm trying to get my picture ready. Uh, I was recommending to students earlier uh, to make what's like a ghost. Uh, th the bison is such a bulky animal, right? So we can make kind of a sketch using the side of our pencil. I'll show you. I'll show you this method. Pardon me while I sharpen. Okay. Um, however, yeah, I, I need to get my picture uh, open a little more. And how about this? Would you like me to make this larger for you. I could, uh, I can do that. I have the power. Ha, here we go. How's that? Okay, is that helpful? You can see it pretty clearly. And yeah, now it's like, I know the direction is kind of unfortunate, but that's fine. All right, it's not, I'm not really behind it. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, all right, I am just uh, wanting to yeah, I beg your pardon. I'm, I want to get my picture open so I can see it clearly. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so planning ahead. We want the bison to be facing uh, this way. All right, so I'm taking the side of my pencil, and I'll press a little harder than I normally do. 
Okay, so side of the pencil and I'm just squinting a bit and filling in yeah see notice I'm not drawing I'm, I'm, I'm like just sketching very lightly you know but uh, firmly with the side of my pencil I want to get the bulk of the beast I want to get this mass of animal um, like a like I, I was calling it earlier a ghost okay so you want to this is one method of sketching that can help some people so if it works for you try it right. and yeah they're long right they're uh i believe they're yeah they're a very long land mammal and they're also the largest land mammal living in north america yeah they're very big i mean would you believe there used to be species of bison that were bigger than that yeah, ancient times, prehistoric times. I think you know there were some really big animals back then. Okay, can you see the you see the sketch? See how I'm just using the side of my pencil and looking at the picture and filling in just where I would see the sh the darkness, the shadows, and the the just the bulk of the body. All right, here's the back leg. Yeah, so this, yeah, I, I, all I'm doing is, yeah, it's side of the side of the pencil, just the side of it, okay, and, and holding it kind of loosely, and wow, yeah, there we go. All right, well, and I'm finished. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I want to draw details. Are you ready to draw some details? Maybe. Yeah, think anatomy, right? And then... And then some more fur. So more lines to show texture. More lines. Here we go. And its elbow would be here. Yeah, you can you I think you can see where the elbow is, right? Yeah, the elbow's over here. And hey, if you're just joining us, just jump right in and sketch. That's what we're doing. That's the beauty of this. We can just jump in, just draw. That's why the source pictures are here. You know, you can you can follow my advice or you can just practice your own style. I am very open-minded about what artists do, so please just have some fun with me. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, so I've got the front leg here. Now, what do we have happening behind the elbow? Let's see. Yeah, it's, I know it's a little hard to see, right? Yeah, it's hard to see. But then just do the best you can. I, I would figure, yeah, there's lots of fur in there. So fur, 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 lots of fur. And then I can see the other leg on the other side. Right? You see it? Yeah, pay attention to where it stops. It shouldn't go further than this one. Yeah, that would just be, that would just be weird. So maybe if you want, determine where you want it to stop. Okay, I want to stop it right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I made a little line. Yeah, the little line's going to help me. Because now, right behind the elbow, I shall now start drawing the other leg. Comes in and then downward. And, yeah, it goes like that and then down. This is going to end up being very dark with the black. Okay, awesome. And, yeah, you can make yours as detailed as you want. Yeah, I know, this is actually, yeah, this is more detailed than some, uh, I did see some other bison um, tutorials online earlier, just to see. Um, and yeah, you know, you can certainly follow those too. They have really good methods of simplifying and drawing them. But it's helpful to have this photo here, right? That's, we, were, we were working from the photo first and foremost. Very helpful. So yeah, I'm doing my tight, tight, tight coloring. And I do have the pencil underneath. It's like the pencil underneath is blending with the crayon in an interesting way. I kind of like it. It's working out pretty well for me. So I hope whatever you're doing, 
Yeah, if you're drawing along with me, I hope it's working well for you. Just And just experiment. You know, we're not out to do, uh, you know, something that's going to be in the museum tomorrow. We're just, we're practicing. Okay. The, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. The more natural everything's going to feel when you draw. And the easier it'll get. And that's how it is. And let me remind you that uh, at with uh, the team here at Vico, yeah, we've got a great assembly of people uh, from all walks of life, all diff disciplines, okay, other artists. We've got musicians. We've got language teachers. We've got storytellers. We have s uh, scientists. So... If you're not a subscriber to Vico yet, please subscribe. That way uh, you can keep up to date with us, get notifications, and you'll know when our live classes are starting. As for me, yeah, I'm Ostra, by the way. I, I draw live now every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, also earlier at 6 p.m. And then Thursdays, also 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How's this going? Yeah, this is going pretty well. And then also, <laughs> on the weekend, if you're not busy, uh, tune at 5 p.m. on Saturday, Eastern Standard Time, because, yeah, I have one Saturday live stream at 5 p.m. Right, you don't really see as much of the lines I did earlier, right? They're they're kind of blending in now with this uh, with this black, huh? Yeah, take your crayon. Yeah, keep developing. Yeah, make make the form come through. My goodness, is time is time is flying. Okay, but yeah, basically. Basically, this is it for the bison. We're just now adding more color and making it look more authentic. The distance, yeah, they would be they would be far away. So how would you draw distant mountains? You can go up and down. Yeah, if you remember, if you've been around for my other live streams, uh, oh, excuse me, if you didn't see that here, here's the mountain. Yeah, if you've been around, we, we did do a landscape, uh, few weeks ago that was really fun let's see okay maybe some more hills back here here we go yeah you know keep it simple you don't want to take away too much from your drawing uh, as far as colors go yeah pick the greens that are that have more yellow in them that would be my advice some green is very bright Okay, final advice for the sky. Again, don't don't overpower it. Um, here, I can even move, let's move this a little down so you can see some sky. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the blue. Yes, yeah, so you can make clouds, you make bumps, you know, for the clouds. Different layers of clouds. You can do some light blue. Yeah, see, I'm, and now I'm going, I'm doing this, technique called hatching. I'm just gently, gently making those streaks. Remember how I told you not to do that here? You can do that in the sky. You can make these soft, long lines and they blend in. And be very gentle about it. Don't press too hard. I know that's tough, especially for some young artists, right? You're still getting the hang of your arms and your hands and your coordination. So it's okay. All right. So there's my... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We, I can add more later. All right. I, c I certainly could. And here we are. How did you do? Did well? I hope so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm, I'm happy with my practice today. So I hope you are too. Okay. All right, everybody. That's it. Have a great, have a great rest of your day. And I hope you, I hope you come back for next time. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.